Hey guys, Reckless Gamer here. Welcome back to the channel. Today is August 5th, so we're going to be starting a new Let's Play. The reason that I mentioned the date is because August 5th is my birthday. Ooh, ooh. Oops. So yeah, today we're playing Ultimate Spider-Man. We're getting right into it. There's not much of an intro, um, like, before you start the game. Uh, the reason why we're playing Ultimate Spider-Man is because August 10th is um, Spider-Man's birthday, as far as I know. So, um, you know, me and Spidey, we're, you know, we're little uh, birthday twins almost, so... I thought I would celebrate my birthday and Spider-Man at the same time by going ahead and playing through this game on the channel. Um, it's one of my favorites, so... Oopsie, what? There we go. This is how it all began. Ah! Which, of course, ah! leads to nonsense like this. A few months ago, I reunited with my childhood friend, Eddie Brock. What is that? It's our inheritance. Eddie's dad and my dad worked together before they died. We believe the suit may be the final step. Finally, a cure for cancer. People are dying all over the world. I want to do is try to help them but because I signed the wrong paper for the wrong person I can't they had taken the suit away from dad and I was going to take it back I thought I knew I could finish what he started Good. Great. More than myself. It didn't last. Ah! Ooh, what's happening to me? Get this off of me! I don't know what the suit had become or what it had done to me, but I have super spider powers and I couldn't control it, so I don't think anyone could ever hope to. But when Eddie found out what I had done, who I really was, well, he was pretty angry. Our fathers died to create me. And now, you will too. Okay, so yeah, we're gonna get right into it. Um, just like Peter said, basically... Um, Peter was getting uh, uh, through his dad's old things, and he uh, found... Me, Eddie, you're smarter than this. You, it's a suit. Ow! I need to dodge faster than that. I've been behind it. I know what it's doing to you. Gah! I have to dodge those. Let me help you before you do something you're going to regret. I gotta get Eddie off campus before somebody gets hurt. I gotta get Eddie off campus before somebody gets hurt. Okay. Yeah, so he was going through his dad's old things, and then he found, um, like a family video of him, him, his mom, his dad, and then the Brocks as well. And so he took it to Aunt May and, uh, you know, he asked them who they are. And she told him, like, oh, those are the Brocks. They worked with your family. They all died. <laughs> and then uh, she told him that Eddie Brock was still around. So he, I think he looked him up in the yellow pages. And then he goes and visits him at, um, I forgot what college he goes to, actually. <laughs> Eddie is in college. Peter's in high school, too. This takes place in the Ultimate Universe, obviously. Yeah. Have to get loose. I have to stop him. That means I have to put him down. Fast. <laughs> Let's just let him walk into the... There we go. Lie on the ground with your hands over your head. Both of you, on the ground now. What the hell is that? Okay, I'm gonna be 
a little bit quiet here in the beginning because there's a bunch of stuff going on. But uh, after this cutscene, I should be I able to talk. It. It's not done. Give it back. It's really not done. I can't go swinging around in my nerd clothes. I just have to finish stitching up a hole in the butt, and then I'll give it back to you. I can explain the hole in the butt, by the way. Please don't. Come by the place in about half an hour, and I'll have it ready for you. All right. I'm gonna run by home and grab my web shooters. I've been sitting on my tush all day. Time for a little workout. Alrighty, so yeah, um, he looked up Eddie in the yellow pages and he goes to visit him at whatever college he, uh, Eddie ended up going to. Let's start with some wall crawling. Just a little jump up here, and that's not it. Jump and then jump again. Sure, it breaks the laws of physics, but so do most things I do. It's me, the Amazing Jumping Man! Huh. The Spectacular Leaping Dude! Huh. It's the Sensational Talking to Myself Guy! I have to quit being so easily amused. <laughs> okay, so yeah, and then Eddie was telling him about their parents' work, which basically prompted Peter to steal the suit like how we saw. Because uh, he wanted to try to finish what their fathers had started. Eddie finds out um, eventually after Spidey's rampage. Um, and then he takes the other sample, which is what Eddie's wearing. Because Peter destroyed the first suit. Um, so yeah. They're all connected though. <laughs> Web zipping is great for low buildings like these. <laughs> these buildings are tall enough to web swing off of pretty easily. Yeah, a lot of uh, dialogue in the game, so that's why I'm like talking is because some of it's really cool and charming. Um, I actually really like this voice for Peter. When I read Man, the Ultimate Comics, I was, uh, before I was able to web swing. You would take the bus or walk. <laughs> oh, yeah, I remember. I used to get my butt kicked and people called me names. Oh, and the wedgies. The glorious super wedgies. Oh, geez. Good times. Actually, that still happens a lot. No, it doesn't, Peter. But yeah, anyways, Peter will always be talking uh, in this game. That's why. I... Yeah, that works better if I hold on to the web. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's why I have. I keep having to shut up. <laughs> they won't let me just cut across. They want me to take the I long need way. to hold on to the web if that's going to work. with my butt uh hole yet there's an idiot causing trouble a few blocks from here i need to skedaddle bam i love that pose okay so now we finally got our spidey suit thank god no hole in the butt um i think he actually does explain it in the comic if i remember correctly but anyways so yeah basically after eddie brock stole the venom suit uh they had that confrontation like how we saw here in the video game, but um, we never saw what ended up happening to him. I never knew your name was Herman. Oh no, it's you! Well, you are kind of in my neighborhood, Herman. I'll go easy on you this time, Herman. I'll only use my webs. I'll kill you! I'll kill you! This guy is a joke. I should just web up. It's gotta hurt. Good old predictable Herman. See you around, pal. Yeah, like I said, it's gonna be a lot of cutscenes and stuff, so I do apologize again for being so quiet. This one's gonna be a little bit longer part anyway, so don't worry about it. You guys, you're happy just being walking cliches. Seriously, good for you. But come on, guys, leave the lady alone. 
So yeah, in the in like real time when the comics had come out, I think the Venom arc was around like issue thirty or so. I need to web these guys when I knock them um, down. You know, we never ended up seeing what up. happened to Eddie Brock after their confrontation on in the rain and stuff. All done this here. game is meant to, you know, follow up on that story. You okay? Ugh, get away from me, you freak. It's that kind of quality human interaction that makes it all worthwhile. <laughs> oh, hippie, more of you. Yeah. I need to get home. I love uh making people swing up from the you know light post like that. In the lower corner of the oh yeah, this is just Coolio. Anyway, so yeah, now we have a little bit of free time to ourselves. Um Yeah, so like I said this game is meant to follow up on the Venom storyline and everything, but basically it's not exactly canon to the uh, comic book. When it came out, uh, it was meant to be, um, you know, picking up the pieces and everything, but then eventually they actually just decided to cover this whole story in the comic books themselves um, with some variations. So as the game goes along, I'm going to try to... Um, explain like the canon events because we'll be seeing like kind of what happens in this game but it's mixed in with other things and then it's you know just completely different from what ends up actually happening in the comic so i'll try my best i have to be here but you go save the world oh i got a better idea what do you say uh quick race around queens what is this you think just because you can fly in a streak of fire oh you can beat me <laughs> I do believe that's what I'm saying. And I've got two words for you. Bring it on. So now we're going to race Johnny Storm of the Fantastic Four. Ready, set, go! Funny thing is, is that um, Johnny Storm does end up moving to Peter's high school. <laughs> so I don't know if he's actually like already. He's not supposed to be in town by this point, I don't think. Um... Peter likes the Fantastic Four, but I don't think he knew that Johnny and, uh... <laughs> I'm not sure if he knew the Human Torch's identity. I'm not gonna lie, I can't remember. But I remember that when, uh, Johnny Storm... Oh no, maybe he did. I don't remember. I just remember Johnny Storm ends up attending his school. And, you know, he's like, man, Johnny Storm doesn't even know I'm a superhero. Like, this sucks. And I think everybody else obviously knew that Johnny that was a feeling that just overwhelmed you? That's losing. I'm not sure, though. It's been such a long time since I've read the Ultimate Comics. I gotta, I definitely gotta do it again. And I definitely want to, but, uh, you know, life. I love this game, though. I, this is probably one of my, another one of my first games. I didn't own this one until, um, I turned up about, like, 12 or 13 or maybe a little bit younger maybe like 10 or 11 but anyways I played this game when I was like four or five years old my uncle had it for um, PS2 and uh, I just thought it was the most awesome thing ever I never was able to beat this Johnny Storm race so it was pretty pretty easy. oh man you're faster than I thought now I own you <laughs> yeah whatever you ever want to race again look me up I'm usually hanging out by the Baxter building He's usually hanging out by the Baxter building. Anyways, we've unlocked Swing Speed 2. Um, and now we can do uh, City Events, I believe. That's how we have to uh, progress the story. Um, I think for now, all we have to do is... Yeah, just collect one token. And maybe do stop one crime. Um, the only tokens I think I'm going to be collecting for this playthrough is just comic book uh, tokens. Um, I don't really care about the secret suits and stuff. I don't need to play as the black suit. <laughs> Another one? Wow. And then, um, 
yeah, we'll just be playing through the main story. We'll probably try to do some of the uh, combat tours and some of the races if we have to for the, to progress the story. But other than that, we'll just be collecting comic book tokens and going through the main thing. This is a job for your friendly neighborhood spider. -Man. Can I give you a kiss? Um. <laughs> The last time uh, Spider-Man let a ultimate Spider-Man let a grown woman kiss him, she threw up, so I don't think that's a good idea. Anyways, we already did a city event and we got some comic book tokens, so our next objective is complete. Let's head to our next mission and then we'll probably wrap it up and call it a part. Uh, I, I kind of... This is my second time recording this, I'm not going to lie. I recorded this last night. Um, and I feel like I like was trying to, uh, you know, get certain points across. But, um, you know, right now, I can't really remember. So, I do apologize if the commentary for the first part is a little lackluster. Um, you know, it's just a new LP. I'm trying to get into it. And I'm also, I'm also kind of just, I get really distracted by like the web swinging because uh, I try not to make myself look like a fool while swinging. But uh, we're still early on in the game, so. That Times Square, I, and that, that's another thing too. I, I was going to mod the game. I'm playing the PC version. Go ahead and stop these crimes and throw right here. I'm playing the PC version, um, and I was. Oh shit, no, you will make it. Got you, don't worry. Bam. Can I have an autograph? Uh, for my kid. <laughs> sure. What's it called? But, um,. <laughs> There's not really any kind of like mods for this game besides suit mods. And I, like I said, I don't really need to change suits and stuff right now. Um, this isn't like the most in, I don't know how to say it. This is a fun game, but it's not the longest game. It's not the most like super in depth. The main thing about it is the combat tours, races, missions, and then all the tokens, you know what I mean? So I couldn't find a way to, you know, update the textures and everything. So it looks pretty fine as it is. But I hope you guys like it. If if you guys think it needs some improvement, just let me know, and then maybe for part two I'll try um, to make it look a little better. But let's just go ahead and continue. It's Tobes. No, listen, listen to me. I'm, I'm in I'm in Queens, and I listen. I saw the suit. You heard me. Yes. The suit. The suit. I, I don't know what happened. I don't know how many days passed. I don't even know how I'm still alive. If you could call this alive. Venom T posing back there. I know you guys saw that. <laughs> Anyways, yeah, so now Eddie Brock, basically he disappeared for three months after uh, getting electrocuted and shit. Um, the Venom suit kept him alive somehow. And he's just been feeding on people. Kind of, he's been like, somewhat like a zombie. Uh-oh. The Venom suit must be fed. Face Venom's prey and hold the L trigger to feed. The longer the L trigger is held, the more energy Venom will receive. So yeah, unfortunately we have to do this suit, kid. I'm sorry. Poor little kid, I hate that part. <laughs> I'm so sorry about that. Jesus. Oh, 
Okay, so yeah, we're just basically out on the town as Venom, rampaging, trying to survive, and then we should be running into somebody pretty soon. Here we go. Should be right here. Uh oh. Whose chopper was that? Nice mess. Ugh. Yet don't say. I was never camera I can be turned on and off by pressing the B button. Well I don't know what that's supposed that's to uh right, right. You smash this place up with. What are you supposed to do? I don't know what that's equivalent to do with my control is set up on the I do. And what that is ain't pretty at all. Let's see these claws. Unbreakable. You bet not. <laughs> he thinks this is a mutant hate crime. This isn't a mutant hate crime, but yeah, anyways, for those that don't know, that's Wolverine of the X-Men. He's just chilling out here in Manhattan for whatever reason. I'm pretty sure they're not um, based too far away. We got some civilians here that we can feed on as well. Uh, if you leave Wolverine alone for too long, he'll try to heal as well. So, you know, try not to leave them alone for too long. The tendrils are for sure more powerful than uh, Venom's. Bub, you have no idea how big a mistake you just made. Oh, wow. He, he threw me. I was just trying to hear his dialogue. <laughs> All good. Well, now I'm getting good and mad. Let's go ahead and finish off Wolverine. Yeah, he didn't consume him because I guess, uh, you know, Logan always regenerates, but we're going to go ahead and call that a part here. Um, you know. It's Spider-Man. What can I say? It's my birthday. Happy birthday to me. This is the new Let's Play that we're going to be doing. Keep an eye out for it. Um, we'll for sure finish this up in the month of August. Um, I'm going to try to keep it, like, to, uh, you know. We're still doing uh, Lego Star Wars and this. That's what I'm trying to say. I'm so sorry that I just am not uh, all there in the right headspace right now. Sorry. That's the part, though, guys. Thanks for watching.